The U.S. has called for reconciliation in Sri Lanka among various communities under the new government. Washington has also pledged support to the forward-looking agenda of the government. Two top officials of the U.S. State Department, Nisha Biswal and Tom Milanowski, met Sri Lankan Foreign Minister Mangla Samaravira on Tuesday in capital Colombo. Both the sides discussed on broadening the avenue of bilateral ties in the wake of the formation of new government in Sri Lanka. We discussed step, steps taken by the government of President Maithripala Sirisena to promote reconciliation and to strengthen the rule of law as part of our government's overall objective of ensuring good governance, respect for human rights and strengthening our economy. The U.S. delegation, which was on a two-day visit to the island nation, hailed last week's parliamentary polls. Twice now, they have voted north, south, east and west for the rule of law, against impunity, for reconciliation, for building this country, developing this country for everyone, and against the politics of ethnic and religious division, against extremism on both sides. The visit of the U.S. officials also comes ahead of the crucial talks in September on the U.N. report on alleged war crimes in the country during decades-long civil war against the Tamil rebels. The U.S. has last year sponsored a resolution at the U.N. calling for an investigation into the war crimes where at least 40,000 people were killed during the final phases of the war in 2009.